Hi guys, uh, this will be the last part, I believe, well, for now, that I review my rigs. Uh, let's start from this bird. Okay, nothing much. Uh, I, I have covered the wing previously in my tutorials, but uh, let's just see how it works right now quickly. If you are interested, you can go and check the full tutorial. Okay, so basically I have one uh, I key, full I key with two bones and uh, another two set of bones that <coughs> uh, are uh, I keys again, but with one bone and the, the, this one is actually parented, uh, is a child to this target, which is the, actually the target of the this bone. So I have one bone that these two bones are looking to as an I key target and also this set looks to this bone so basically uh, these four bones are controlled by this and there is also <coughs> some constraint uh, transform constraint to this bone which is 30 percent uh, lis uh, listens to this uh, joint so when we move it also gets back which uh, I don't know makes something natural effect uh, that's it I think for the wing we have this kind of thing and uh, exactly same setup for the other wing I have some ro rotators here so to give like a living mechanism inside of the bird also the tail uh, looks a little bit more different so I want to show it to you again two edges of the tail are I key and listen to this one listens to this bone the other to this bone and they both are child to this bone so this one actually controls the I keys as well and uh, it has also a target of this bone I key which is has compressed and stretch and also these two bones have uh, softness of high value otherwise they would uh, uh, point to this bone directly if if I reduce the softness okay um, basic shearing the 3d head turn and the eyes I think I did also the eyelids here they follow up follow this um, this bone a little bit which gives us nice uh, look I have also covered this I set up the similar in other my tutorials let's move to the next um, and let's see how it actually works here I have a different wing that uh, closed stay that just uh, fades in when the wings are closed so this is the uh, gears are rotating um, and this is the bird in flying okay land fly loop and actually rise uh, and basically that's it let's move to the next character <coughs> okay we have snake man which is uh, a lot complex again I did it for PC uh, game and uh, let's see let's start from the mount it is controlled by two bone chain I key here and you can notice that this the base bone also moving with uh, with the target so it should um, that the, the idea is I actually constraint uh, used constraint transform and as a target I use this uh, <coughs> it's a target of the actual I key so this is also uh, this uh, bone also target for I key and constraint of this bone so it allows me a little bit more flexibility over the face over the chin this is the head and mainly I move this bone which uh, rises the torso a bit and uh, if I want to 
move the neck separately I can do this kind of manipulations there are uh, some parts here that have bones of the edges of this cape I don't know how to call it but the cape has uh, bones on or along the edges and which are uh, then uh, constrained to these parts and the parts uh, themselves listen to this bone and this bone and this bone it's very similar to my other rigs where fox has a tail um, but in general this is very common setup so you have a mesh that listens to a bunch of bones which are constrained to path and path itself are controlled by the other uh, less uh, bones so so you can actually avoid some headaches and manage some lesser bones so here these two bones are actually uh, being controlled by this intermediate bone which also you 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 would like to in animation close or modify the cape or here that you can close this way anyway uh, this is the top part i have a um, necklace here with uh, again two eye keys that listen to this bone this tar have target this bone also this is the same target to this eye key which which they are using with softness at the max value so this that's why they just don't point exactly to this bone um, <clears throat> and that's it for the necklace i think uh, mainly that's it for the for the most of the rig uh, I, for the skirt i did a similar rig as i did with the book uh, you can see that i have uh, let me see do you can see that i i i have some parts here but i don't see them i don't know maybe they are under some skin let me find them okay they, here they are yes so okay the here we have uh, pads for the skirt and the bones are controlling the pads very similar rig uh, as in the with the books book so that's it for the skirt um the tail is also a chain of one bone i key each uh, i key uh, arm is a uh, child of the previous i key arm so this way they just provide some joints that you can manipulate them <clears throat> i don't want to cover this part of the tail it's uh, very custom and that there is nothing to learn i believe uh, i can show how it it like works but uh, mostly it's it's not uh, done in a good way it's just a quick way of achieving animation so this is the animation the solitering i believe and uh, that's it for this one let's move to the next character okay the snake frontal view let's see it should be pretty much uh, same way that i did the uh, rig let's see the mouth uh, we have again two bones i key two bones I key that listen to these two targets let me show it actually and these two bones are actually child of this uh, and this one has a um, transform constraint with a minus 30 value uh, which allows us to move it up opposite direction when we move the chin so this way it actually looks like he is opening its mouth not only the chin but the uh, overall you can also control the upper part and uh, that's for the mouth i think we have yeah we have the tongue here you can just i think you you can just use the scale value to animate it this way uh, just easy to animate 
Uh, the head itself is controlled by this bone, which also controls these two joints. You can see that when I rotate, it rotates those ones, which are again uh, are which are target to this set of I keys. I keys that are uh, have a softness of max value which allow us to have to not snap any of in any of position. Uh, that's it for these joints. I think you can manipulate the cape as want as you wish. Also for earrings I I, I would recommend to disable the rotation inheritance so when you move the head it act, they actually stay uh, vertical. <coughs> uh, well the arms are basically two set of I keys. One is two bond I key, the main that is actually uh, making this elbow to move. While in other way we we also give I also give control over elbow. This bone follows this I key bone and 50 percent I believe. Yeah, let's see a uh, fifty percent. So this is basic setup. I don't want to go into much more details. Not the same way works the other hand. This is uh, just a way of rigging. Uh, I, I'm not recommending to do this way because it's complex, uh, complicated. It's a matter of getting used to it. If you are uh, easy to work with this, it, it's fine because I am already. I know how to control this kind of arms. Okay, let's see. The skirt is also has the same way as the previous snake and the book itself. Part on the one side, part on the bottom, and here, and this part controls the bones, and these corner bones control the part. This way, we can make whatever we want. I, I just did this way to avoid mesh deformations in animation. As I said, it may be a performance costly. And as for tail, it just as previous snake just has some. Uh, I key with one bone which are uh, which can be controlled and which are child and parent to each other so this set is actually child to this this bone <coughs> okay and for bottom part there is nothing to explain I think easy one easy I keys here and um, yeah, let's see the necklace. Okay, the basic mesh that is controlled by these bones, the smaller bones. You can see here, uh, I made two vert vertices here and uh, the, that uh, allowed me to separate the fragments of the necklace. You can see that uh, another way they would just stretch as a one cloth and not just a uh, necklace uh, with a separate elements on it. While now you may see that they move separately. I hope it does make sense. Uh, let me actually enable wireframe so we can see it in action. Okay, you can see here that uh, Without those two bones, I wouldn't really be able to achieve this separate element effect. And that's it uh, for the necklace, for I think everything. Let's see the animation. Uh, <coughs> I think we got something off here. But it basically this. Uh, again, I'm not going to go over all animation and how I did. I think it's already pretty much clear. Let's move to the next rig, which uh, will be okay. It's a worm, uh, which is uh, which has basic uh, a lot of bones over his body, and they are controlled. They are constrained to the path which is being controlled to with these bones. 
this allow me to move to make it dance and uh, to even flow in one direction whatever I want so um, this is it for the worm let's see the eye I think we have covered this eye rig in my previous uh, tutorials or videos uh, it's basically the main bone that has other bone the opposite bone that is constrained with minus 100 percent value or it's not percent or maybe as percent uh, value so it moves the opposite direction also we have these eyelids that follow a little bit to this target uh, which gives us uh, actually head torn effect and we also have the pupil and the shine also uh, bound on this bone and this bone a little bit so it gives us a little nice uh, 3d subspherical effect let's see if we have some animation nice uh, okay uh, the, here we have it hiding and we have showing okay and here we have it appear and disappear over, along the path basic animations I think the main idea is to separate the mesh in two um, vertices uh, and uh, bind them to the smaller bones uh, located along the uh, body of the worm and uh, <clears throat> these bones are getting constrained to the uh, path itself which is being controlled by these three bones. Let's see. This at the top, this at the middle, here is it, and this at the bottom. And that's it. Thank you very much. Uh, see you next time with better rigs, I believe, or maybe if you have some ideas what I can show you, uh, let me know. Bye, guys.